Can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you, Jasmine. Thank you. <laughs> Hello, everyone. This is Mr. John from Air Team. I'm the director of curriculum here. We'll get started a little bit more formally in a few moments here as well. But just want to welcome everyone in, give people a minute or two to join in as well. And then we can get started that way too. Yep, happy to have people here. Not sure exactly how many will be showing up. I know a lot of people like catching the recordings of these as well. So we should be having this posted later on our social medias, YouTube, things like that as, as well. But at, at least to get started here, right, we have a, a few parents. That's great to see some of our staff members here as, as well. So I think we have a decent amount of people here. Maybe it's kind of good to get started here as well. So just want to kind of get started by introducing myself and a few members of our staff that we have here as well. So I am, as I mentioned quickly, I am Mr. John Lensmeyer. I'm the Director of Curriculum and Instruction here at Air Team Institute. I'm happy to be joined by Jasmine from our student services team. She can at least wave hi there as well. And we also have Dr. Wong, one of Air Team's co-founders and academic directors here as well. Hello. So, so I think I'll hand this off to Jasmine quick for a little bit of an introduction here just to go through the topics today. And then you'll kind of hear from me and other people throughout the time as well. Hello, good afternoon, everyone. It's a pleasure to have you all here. So today uh, we'll be covering a little bit about the AMC 10 and 12 debrief, uh, going into some detail about our winter math challenge courses, as well as the AMI eight week sprint. Uh, the AMC A is also the beginning of 2025. So we also have some details about uh, final preparation. Uh, we will go, be going over our re new registration site. So Mr. John will give us a little tutorial on how to access it and uh, navigate through the website. Um, I will also be going over some of our school support offerings as well as introducing uh, Next Gen Prosperity and we will end uh, the session with a Q&A where everybody can ask any questions regarding anything we discuss or if you have any other questions about our team institute. All right, so um, Mr. John, you can take it away. Yep, thank you, Jasmine. So yeah, we wanted to get started a little bit with some kind of general thoughts about the AMC 10 and 12. I have a couple of prob problems for reference here. We're not gonna solve the problems together. That's not really the focus of today's meeting. We invite students to join our Discord, discuss some of those, some of the A problems. Dr. Wong has a full video that you can use for review a little bit that way as well. But I wanted to just talk a little bit about the tests and then use some of the problems to show a little bit how our courses and our different AMC sprint classes and prep preparation courses that way really can help the students prepare for those exams too. So just a few general thoughts. I think the general consensus a lot of people have said and heard is that the B date is easier than the A date, definitely open for people's thoughts and discussions on that as well. 
One thing I'll say there is I do think it's very important. One of the things we always recommend to students is that you are taking both of the dates that way. So in terms of, oh, is it fair or unfair that one test is easier or harder than the other? Those types of things happen, and it's always better to have more chances to do the test. Maybe you have an off day one day. We really recommend students take those different dates that way as well. And getting into some of the stuff we'll see with the, the two problems I have picked out here is that problem solving is definitely important. Okay, expanding on that a little bit. Of course, if it's a math contest, you need to solve problems and things like that. But one of the things we noticed this year a little bit is even some of the quote unquote easier problems might have been different than past years, right? Some of the questions, even when I looked at them, I was like, hey, this I haven't seen something like this before. That doesn't mean it's a difficult problem, right? You can look at it quick and say, oh, I haven't seen a problem like this before, but it's like this, and then you're on the way to solving it that way. So just want to stress that, right? It really is important that you have some of those background knowledges, you really have the concepts down. So when you're maybe thrown a curveball of a problem, you're comfortable jumping in and saying, oh, I can solve this that way as well. And some of the more, I don't want to say necessarily advanced topics, but some of these formulas and theorems that are showing up are increasingly important at throughout time as well. And so that's definitely a trend that we've kind of noticed and I think is continued this year as well. And these are definitely some of the things, these are some examples I have in the slides of things that are important and we definitely stress in our courses as well. So Dr. Wong, since you're here, was there anything else you wanted to add? You could add maybe on some of the problems a little bit too, if you wanted, but was there anything else you wanted to add for thoughts about the AMC 1012? Yeah, okay. Thank you, John. At this point, at this point, I just wanna say that the, this uh, this webinar we have uh, 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 prepared for um, uh, actually both English and Chinese uh, speaking audience. So if anyone, uh, if anyone want to ask questions in Chinese or uh, ask, uh, there's some, uh, some uh, particular question or some, some things we say you, you, you don't get, you can ask me, okay? You can ask, I can explain in Chinese. So, uh, the webinar. 那, 那就是让, 呃, 有的朋友呢, 如果是, 呃, okay, so regarding the uh, regarding the uh, AMC 1012, just uh, John, just go ahead. <laughs> just go okay, ahead. Yeah. yep, sounds good. So yeah, I guess just two quick examples I wanted to show here is kind of this first question was from the 10B number 21. So this was on the surface about 3D geometry cylinders. We have these different circles. So it's really a 2D geometry problem when you get down to it at the end. And just wanted to kind of quick point out as we talk about some of our different offerings and things like that, this one in particular jumped out to me and Dr. Wong because we have a lot of problems like this. In particular, I wanted to just show this problem from our two-way geometry textbook. So I'll show a little bit more about these um, kind of geometry textbooks and different availabilities for students to learn later on in the webinar. But tangent circles, right? We do a lot in our courses. And here's kind of a specific example arrangements of you know three circles like we had in that previous problem showing up in our two-way textbook that we use for the year-round courses some of the intensive courses things like that as well and likewise kind of along those lines one of the other problems that i think stood out to dr wong a little bit and myself was this equilateral triangle rotation problem that was happening on the 12b there were a lot of other questions like, well, not necessarily like this, but that ended up involving some trigonometry and things like that too. 
And so the other thing kind of I wanted to stress here is, you know, these, this is one of those examples of the formulas and these different theorems showing up too. So I'm not going to list all of these different examples. There was another number theory problem that stood out where if you knew this theorem that we've covered, it's a pretty easy problem, right? We can discuss that more in the Q&A or things like that afterwards if people have questions. But just to kind of show a little bit, right, here's from the sprint course we had a little bit um, earlier this year. That's me in the corner that way as well in the little Zoom video. But going over some of these trig identities and formulas and also a problem involving rotation, that problem on the right is an old problem that actually also involves some of the methods you might use to solve the previous example from this year here as well in that way too. Now, I do want to tr talk a little bit about a preview for what's going to come later on, just in the sense of our sprint courses here that we have on the screen right now, you see some of the things that are happening in those sprint courses. These are more of a review. So these double and triple angle formulas, we go over them, we say they're important, we practice with those topics in the different problems from Zimmel or old AMC problems. I had shown a screenshot from our 2A textbook, 2B textbook. Those are the long-term learning classes, as I'll talk about a little bit more later too. Those are the classes more where students will learn how to prove some of these formulas. So we build that fundamental knowledge year round and then the eight week sprint courses really help them apply that knowledge and use that in the upcoming tests and exams that way as well. So okay. John, <clears throat> give me a, give me a, can you scroll back to the tangent circle yep. problem? Uh, the, the one here? The one here, yeah. So I'll 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 speak in Chinese right now. Uh, uh, this, uh, just John teacher said, is we in this in this uh, about this year's AMC 1012, there are many questions. There are many questions that are often stressed in the lectures. For example, like this question, which is this kind of uh tangent circle, which is uh, this two angles and this and 呃，直线和圆相切的问题，这个是我们就有非常巧的办法，或者非常直接的办法，就是比如说用一些技巧连，直接就连这个这个圆心，直接就连圆圆心和这个切点。像这种问题就是非常常见，在我们教材里面也非常常见。所以就是这个是，反正上我上过我们的课程，反正跟这个相关的课程的话，就呃就会呃就会有优势。对，呃就是说就会学到就会学到这方面的。呃，内容就非常就是就是，现就就就等于是一个非常 routine， 就是说一个呃，就是会很习惯这这类的内容。呃、uh, ，could you could scroll uh further to the、uh, to the next page to the 呃呃，这一这一页就是我们的教材里面的内容了。这个这个实际上这个题目我们在教材里题目比这个 AMC 实际上考的还要难一些。这个、AMC 的题目那比这个比我们这个容易。呃、uh, ，scroll more。像刚才呃张老师说的这个问题，就是也是 AMC 十二里面的一个问题，一个三角形正三角形旋转了一下，旋转了一下呢，它要求面积，但是这个面积的话，实际上是呃我们在课堂反复强调的面积公式，三角形面积公式，呃，这个是其中的一个面积公式，涉及到三角函数，只要这个三角函数熟，面积公式熟的话，这个几乎这个问题就是秒解，非常快，非常快。Scroll further。那这是张老师在教课的时候<咳>讲的这些三角三角形公式，呃，三角函数公式啊，还有一些这个呃解题的技巧，比如旋转旋转法的这种技巧，这些东西都是我们在课堂经常讲的。这个这次 AMC 十十二的考试里面，三角函数呃应用的非常多，十二那就是十二吧，十二里面用三角函数，三角函数的公式用的非常多。只要三角函数公式熟，就是我们课堂上讲的这些东西都学到了以后。那做很好几个题目，好几道题目都是非常非常简单的做到的。Okay, so I'm I'm done. Go ahead. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Dr. Wong. So yeah, 
wrapping up the AMC 1012 a little bit, right? So a lot of students then are looking ahead, the exams are over, what are some of the next recommended steps we might take from there as well? So our winter term is starting after Thanksgiving. So beginning of December, we have our winter term math challenge courses. As I mentioned, those are more of the long-term learning type of thing. So if you're looking ahead towards next year, we would really recommend, okay, if you're preparing for the AMC 10, we have the Math Challenge 2A. If you're preparing for next year's AMC 12, MC 2B, and we also have the MC3, which is more focused toward Amy preparation that way. We do have some other options. So if you're looking ahead towards the spring or the summer, there are some intensive bundles we'll be offering, summer camps, things like that. But if you're looking to get started right now, it's a perfect time to jump into the year bundles for the different levels. So you can start winter, spring, summer, fall. You're in good shape for next year's exams too. And of course, those of you who are looking ahead towards the Amy, so hopefully the AMC 1012 exams went well. We're looking ahead towards the Amy in February. So Amy 1 is on February 6th. Remember, it's not like the 1012 with A and B dates. There is Amy 1 and Amy 2, but students can only take one of those contests. So almost all of the students, unless you have something going on, We'll be taking the Amy one on February 6th. And we have the sprint courses for Amy preparation starting the same week as the winter term. So starting December 6th, we have those programs starting too. A lot of that last minute review, last minute practice, really getting ready for those exams. And we also have the winter camp is coming up as well. So there's bundles available things like that. We'll maybe mention that on the course page a bit as we show it off a little later in this seminar that way too. But one thing I'll quickly mention that way, hopefully we'll have the Amy cutoffs and all of those results. We'll post them as soon as we get them. We'll share them on our social media. We'll have a blog post announcing all of those. So you can definitely follow us in all of those places to stay tuned for those things. But also, can't always wait for the cutoffs that way. So if you're on the bubble, if you're close to getting into the qualification and you're looking for ways to prepare, I definitely would say you wanna start planning, register for the different courses that way. And even if you're kind of close that way, it will help in the future, right? If you just miss the cutoff or something, you can still prepare this year and it will help you in the future that way as well. Now, do want to give myself a little break here, so I'm going to pass it back over to Jasmine a little bit to tell you how some of these things for our younger students could be prepared for as well, in particular, some of the offerings we have for the AMC 8 coming up as well. Thank you, Mr. John. Oops, okay. Okay. So yes, the AMCA is mostly in particular for younger students up to eighth grade are eligible to take the competition, uh, participate in the competition. So far, uh, the competition is scheduled for January 22nd through the 28th. Um, if any students are interested in uh, t taking the test with our team institute, we will be offering the exam on Monday, January 27th. Uh, we have various ways for students to prepare for the AMCA. Um, they can even join our a spring course which starts on Monday, November 18th. So it is coming up, but there is still time to uh, sign up. As well as our AMC 8 winter camp from December 26th through the 30th, which is available online for those that may not be local or will not be able to travel to uh, the Irvine Lake Forest area. But we also offer the winter camp online. So that is a great way to participate as well. Um, for a little bit, like Mr. John mentioned, for the year round courses, uh, the classes that students can take to prepare for the AMCA is the Math Challenge 1A, as well as the Math Challenge 1B year bundles, uh, which also Mr. John will be showing during the uh, little tutorial on how to access these classes. Thank you. 
So I did want to kind of wrap up some of these offerings and kind of explain again, just some general of the curriculum philosophy, our teaching philosophy at Air Team Institute, and talk a bit how that relates to our different offerings that way as well. So one of the things we really feel strongly about here at Air Team Institute, right, celebrating 20 years this year, right, one of the big things throughout any of the programs that we're talking about is these fundamental knowledge points and teaching students real math. So we do have a lot of students preparing for math competitions. We love helping students prepare for math competitions, but we feel like if we're just focusing on our only goal is making sure this student succeeds on a math competition, we're really doing a student a disservice in their long-term growth and their long-term kind of success that way as well. So we wanna make sure we are teaching fundamental knowledge points that they need to know, not only for the competitions, but for future competitions, or if they go on to take a math class in college, major in math, hopefully, or maybe a STEM field, things like that, they'll have that background that we build up that will definitely serve them well throughout their lives that way. Along those lines, the different problem solving skills and critical thinking skills they develop those things, even if you're going into, say, an uh, English field or writing an essay, right? You need to be able to think clearly, organize your thoughts. There's definitely overlap, I would say, between some of the problem solving you do in either case with each other that way as well. And for many years now, right, we've definitely followed some of the different newer trends in math in terms of common core or the different math practices of conceptual understanding, real world knowledge, right? We've had partnerships with places like the LA County Office of Education, helping bring these ideas of conceptual problem solving, real world examples to students through things like the LA Math Field Day, other things along those lines as well. It's definitely in our DNA to help develop those critical thinking skills and problem solving skills for the students. Now, for students that way, it is oftentimes a long-term process to learn math, right? You can't learn math overnight and do well at the highest levels that way too. So we really are proud of our unified math curriculum. We have, what is it, Kevin, you could maybe help me out with a more accurate number here kind of maybe 70 or 80 plus books that we've published over the years, right? So we have our, all these different levels from 1A up to MC4. We have different problem books, things like that as well. But for right now, I want to bring up the kind of pathways that students could take here, right? We are really proud of the fact that if a student is starting out at that AMC8 level, they can learn that material and then they're going to math challenge 1c to help them transition to the amc 10 level maybe they do really well in the amc 10 level then they're getting ready to prepare for math challenge 3 and students are building that foundation they're scaffolding that foundation we're reinforcing concepts they saw before in the later classes and it's a really great way that they can start learning with us and continue learning with us with these different curriculum books, which are available in our live and self-paced courses over time too. And right, just to kind of bring this all together here at the end, right, summary of some of these main different offerings that we have for math, but also this extends to STEM, AP, things like that as well. We have that long-term growth. We really want to develop a strong foundation. So that's where these live and self-paced math challenge courses come in, those year bundles, whether you're taking them live or self-paced, right? Our sprint courses are meant to be that final push at the end. Right, we're doing, okay, here's the formulas you have to know, here's how you apply them to the math contest type of problems you will see that way. That's your kind of last 
line of kind of learning your last preparation before you get to test day. And I don't want to kind of forget that we have different things like the summer and winter camps that way as well. And in a sense, they're the middle ground. So in one way, they're the most intense thing because it's typically a week is five days. You're learning every day, six hours, five hours a day that way. But it is this middle ground of you are doing this burst of learning and it's setting you up for some of that long-term success. And I do want to just not discount that, you know, most of the successful students we've seen, they've really been successful over time because they've made friends along the way. They have their group of friends that they really work hard with, right? The camps provide a good place for those students maybe to meet, or if they already have a group of students, they can come together. They're one of the places where it's a really fun environment for them to learn and grow and then be inspired to continue learning over time as well. So yeah, if you had any questions or if anyone wants to add anything here as well about the kind of different offerings, right, um, definitely feel free to chime in. But I think it's good to have this bit of a summary of how do the different things we offer kind of fit together. And we do really think that they synergize well to make sure students really succeed over time as well. Okay, so next up on our agenda here. So this definitely goes into what we were talking about, but I do want to kind of show people around the new site a little bit here. I think we're doing fairly good on time that way as well. So I can do a little bit of a live demo of a few of these things that way as well. So let me pull up the course page here. And if people could give me a thumbs up or something. So now you're seeing inside of the live courses a little bit as well. <laughs> if right, just want to make sure people can see everything okay. And the screen share works that way as well. So, right, this is our new registration site. So, yeah, student services shared it in the chat, programs.airteam.org. So this site will be where the new registrations and kind of new courses will be held that way too. So we're always looking for ways to streamline the process for students and kind of make it easier for them to find classes, register for classes, and then access their classes that way as well. So one of the main things that we kind of have here is, right, if you go to the program site, a lot of the times you might get started if you're clicking on the different courses that we have here. So if we look then and actually click on this, our course page is going to be the main place you can come and see what our upcoming offerings are and register for those offerings as well. So just a little bit of a sidetrack, but if I scroll down a bit here, right, I have our self-paced courses right here. And I just want to kind of mention again how we have these different levels that build that way too. So you can kind of see on this page, you can start out with some of our fun math curriculum, right? Build your way up to the middle school math, high school math, things like that as well. Quick shout out, I will point out here, if you're still interested in some of the solutions videos from recent exams, such as the 10A, 12A, you can find them here, including kind of Dr. Wong's video that he made for the 10A, 12A problems that way too. You still want to review those things as well. And for live classes, we have a lot of those different options coming up here as well. So if we're talking about the winter term registration, so these are where we would have the kind of year bundles and these are where we have the different math challenge courses available that way too. And right, the other ones that I'll kind of give a shout out to here, I don't wanna do all of them, but let me kind of just mention the eight week math prep. And we actually do have some upcoming STEM science preparation courses 
as well. So if you're interested in the F equals MA, USABO, so that's biology, or if you're interested in physics, you can join some, sorry, that's the F equals MA or computer science. So if you're interested in the USACO competitions, we do have some upcoming courses and preparation that you can do that way as well. So, right, for these different classes, then you can easily join. So one of the things we like on our course here is that we have a nice kind of add to cart feature. It makes it nice and easy to pick some of these different offerings. So, for example, upcoming AMC 8 and Amy courses we have here. So gives you all of the details. If you want more details, you can always click on one of the options. So if I click on the Amy normal course here, Jones. we can have some more frozen. information. Yep. Sorry, Kevin. Yeah, you seem to be frozen for a while. Oh, okay. And uh, can okay. you hear me okay now or? Yeah, no, okay now. Okay. Yeah, so I was just kind of showing some of the kind of Amy sprint courses, but we do have access to all of the other courses that way as well here for the AMC 8, the different Amy levels. And I'm not going to pull up the camp page, but as we kind of mentioned, we do have both online and on-site AMC 8 camp available. And one of the highest ways we would recommend the camp is to bundle it with the eight week sprint course as well. So over these next two months, roughly, we actually have the AMC eight sprint class starting next Monday, as Jasmine had mentioned earlier, we actually do have some time off during the holidays for the AMC eight eight week class. And so during that break, it's a perfect fit. You can join either the online camp or the on-site camp to continue your AMC 8 preparation as well. And similar things are kind of going on with the Amy camp and things like that as well. So add to cart then. So once you kind of add to cart, I'll maybe show that in a moment here. But let me just point out one last thing too is that we do have kind of our bookstore and slowly offering more and more of our textbooks here as well we do have all of the different textbooks for the math challenge courses here too so if you're registering for the winter term probably want to register for that year bundle and then grab the books that way as well so if we have a specific level there we could of course in the same way add some of those books to the cart, and then we can always go to check out either at the top or if you click the view cart, you'll be prompted to check out there as well. Now, this is one of the things that I wanted to say a little bit. I won't go too far into the process here, but I will kind of say that you don't need to create an account until you're kind of checking out here, right? So you can check out and automatically create an account at the same time. So one of the streamlined things we can do there is, right, if you're kind of creating a new account on this page, you can just go through the billing details. You'll be prompted for, you know, name, email address, things like that there, then you'll have an account with that email address too. So let me just say, please use um, a convenient email for your account that way. So if you're joining a new class, whatever email you use here, that will become the official account email. And you'll use that then to access your courses and things like that as well. So after you register, right, the My Courses is where you will show, come up and view all the different courses that you have that way as well. So I think for now, I just wanted to give a little bit more of kind of a quick overview of some of the things that way. We're happy to answer some questions at the Q&A. Definitely will be 
telling you more in some of our email blasts and as people register for the winter term and other programs that way as well. Our student service team is always here to help. We're always available to kind of answer your questions via email or you can call us during business hours, things like that as well. Okay, so yeah, I guess I'll just open it up and yeah, Dr. Wong and Jasmine can feel free to ask any questions if they had something they wanted me to demo here quick a little bit too. Were there any other questions or concerns people had about the new course pages? Okay. I want to add that uh, the new site we designed here is actually uh, we streamlined uh, a lot of processes in the, from the from the old ones. So we have the uh, registration registration. Uh, uh, the it, it, once you register for a class, you're enrolled into the class directly, and then you click on the a link, you can get to the class page directly. So that's uh, uh, and also we have the shopping cart feature. We have the coupons, and we have any promotion we have you can you can uh, you can apply it there so it's a it's a uh, more convenient than before and also for people uh, who have already been taking our classes we have some old uh, uh, the existing existing live classes you're you you're taking right now or you you took in the summer or something like that uh, the existing site the old website still is still there. It's not. It's not like we, we replace it. It's uh, all the materials are available still there, and uh, this uh, usually for live classes we have a uh, uh, after the live class we have a uh, three three months. Uh, so the material will be available. So so it, there will be a time, uh, some time period before we retire the the, the old the old site. So so the material is still there. And uh, also, any of the self-paced courses have been um, have been uh, migrated to the new site. So if you sign up for self-paced courses, it's entirely on the new site. And starting this, uh, we're talking about starting the winter winter uh, term. So the new site will be the place to go. Yep. Yeah. And so yeah, like like Dr. Wong was saying, you'll still have access to the old site, and definitely will be available to and will be helping people transition over. If you're a current year bundle student, we'll be sending you information early next week about how this transition will work, how you can access on the new site, all of those things as well. But yeah, as he mentioned, we are kind of really excited for some of the kind of streamlined features, some of the different ways that it will definitely make students' lives easier, parents' lives easier, and kind of easier for everyone to access the site and things like that as well. I'd also like to add, I do apologize, John. We mm -hmm. also have a chat feature on our website as well. If you could see that little icon right there, that little yellow circle, um, that actually you'll be able to chat directly with student services and we can navigate. Um, we can help navigate anything really throughout the website, whether it be you need an assessment, not sure. So that's a great way to even get in touch with us as well. Yep, that's a that's a good reminder that way as well. Okay, so yeah, I think then, yeah, please let us know if you have other questions or concerns about the new site or things like that. And right, I do want to then, I think, pass this back over to Jasmine here to talk a little bit more about some of the different school support that we offer to students, right? If you're not into math competitions or even if you're into math and science competitions, some of the other ways we have been and continue and will be continuing to be able to help students with school things that way too. So Jasmine, can you say a little bit about this? Yes, thank you, Mr. John. So yes, we do offer a GPA booster program, um, which is great to fill knowledge gaps. Many of the current students that are currently on this program um, usually join for mathematics, but we do have an English portion as well. So um, we offer English and math. Uh, it's great for the students to learn at their own pace. And it's a very rewarding experience as well that they can see how far they have progressed within the program. Um, my apologies. And uh, and they can even advance in their studies within school as well, since it is a great way to supplement what they're learning. 
Um, as well, we have our college counseling program, uh, which it builds core strengths. Although this, we have offered college counseling for a couple years. This is just a friendly reminder that we do have it. Uh, we, our team works very closely with the student to build their strengths, develop those soft skills, as well as connect with their passions and really help them navigate to their dream schools and prepare them for that. Next slide, please. Thank you. With a bit of college counseling, we'd also like to um, share a little bit about Next Gen Prosperity. As Mr. John has mentioned, we have, for the past 20 years, we have been dedicated to helping students and families navigate education, college planning. So we are very excited to introduce the family office, Next Gen Prosperity, which will continue to provide and support um, navigate college, um, navigate education, college counseling, career development, as well as wealth management um, to help families build uh, a lasting legacy. So that is a little bit about Next Gen Prosperity. Dr. Wong, is there anything else you would like to add? Okay, uh, I, I want to uh, explain in uh, Chinese, okay. Uh, this is our, uh, in the year 呃开放了一个正式的正式的一个呃 那么在教育方面呢，呃，帮助帮助学生和家长对这个学生教呃未来的规划，包括这个这个数学理工方面的教育啊，包括这个呃college Bangu 包括这个未来这个从财务方面怎么来进行规划能够让不仅不是说孩子上大学就把这个家里面钱都掏空了就就为孩子上大学实际上我们是有一个完完整的规划同时呢也包括这个将来学生呢进入职场以后呃或者说
definitely any of us are happy to kind of go back and explain a little bit more if something maybe was a little unclear or things like that. So I'll maybe open the floor up to see if people had any questions or things like that. And do thank everyone for taking the time to join us today. And hopefully we gave you some helpful information. And as Jasmine was mentioning, right, whether you're jumping on the chat feature online, right, we have kind of email access, you can email us, things like that as well. Don't hesitate to get in touch uh, with any questions or concerns you have that way as well. So we'll give a moment or two here if people have any questions or concerns that way as well. Feel free to unmute yourself if you have any questions or if you wanna drop it in the chat box, I can monitor as well um, so we can answer those questions. Okay. So it seems like, well, seems like maybe no questions at the moment. I have um, a quick question yeah. for you, John. Mm -hmm. um, some of the questions I've been asked um, since the launch of the new website, some parents have um, either two kids or multiple kids within our programs. And the question I've been getting asked is, should they use one account to um, purchase those classes or should they have multiple accounts? Yeah, so I, that, is a, that is a good question, right? So courses could be purchased um, on the same account but we would recommend at this time, we would recommend, um, so let me say, but uh, recommend um, one account for each student that way. So to clarify that a little bit, we will be kind of, you will be purchasing the classes on that account, and then that will be the way to access the classes that way too. And so if we have one account for each student, right, this way, right, each student will only see their classes and things like that when they go back and click the My Courses there as well. So we would recommend one account for each student that way too, but um, it is possible if you wanted to just use one account, but our recommendation would be each student has their own account there as well. But that is a good question to ask too. Okay. Yeah, so any other questions or anything else anyone wants to add here? So yeah, for financial aid and, and things like that, whoops. Um, so it depends on the course a little bit. Yeah, so the, the main place we have for a lot of the different financial aid is for our summer camps and some of the winter camps, but mostly the summer camps there. So we'll probably be opening registration for the summer camps within the next month and some of the different information about kind of different scholarships or different financial aid programs um, could be available that way as well. As far as kind of some of the online classes and things like that, uh, typically we don't have too much financial aid available for those. We have done some different scholarships or partnered with different places at different points in the past. And we have kind of our own kind of nonprofit charity arm Zephyr that kind of has been able to possibly help out in certain cases. So some of those questions, yeah, we're definitely able to help on a person by person basis with some more information. But yeah, in general, yeah, some of the financial aid and scholarship things might be more for the summer camps um, kind of coming up in the next month or so. Okay, and let me see if 
Whoops. Okay. So yeah. So Jasmine was kind of mentioning. So yeah, you can always email us for those things as well. But yeah, do want to kind of mention, right? If you have any additional questions, we can end with our contact information here, phone, email. Uh, if you're on WeChat or things like that, we definitely can answer any questions are willing here to help your student both in the education and as I mentioned with our curriculum philosophy, our goal is really building that well-rounded student. So any way we can support with the college counseling, with help with, yeah, some of the financial aid or, you know, college planning type of things, definitely get in touch and we're happy to share more and see how we can help. So from all of us here at Air Team, I want to thank you again for coming. I'll thank Dr. Wong and Jasmine for being here as well, helping out. And as always, yeah, get in touch if you have questions. We're happy to help. Goodbye, everyone.